So without further ado, what I'd like to do this time is introduce our guest speaker. He hails from San Diego, got the one of the largest organizations going. Without further ado, regional director from the San Diego area, the great, the one and only, Mr. Julian Lewis. Good morning, sir. Good morning. It's good to see you. I'm excited to be on the call uh, this morning and to share with you everything that's happening. And, you know, uh, from that text, you might think like, wow, like, what are you guys doing? Are you, uh, what is your recruiting uh, situation looking like? And it's really just, we, we have a team that knows people everywhere. It, it really is simple as that. And so uh, Zoom allows you to eliminate boundaries that we had before, as far as miles. We have this morning, if I'm not mistaken, uh, we have, uh, or this afternoon, we have a, an, a presentation with someone in Japan. So we're, we're excited. There's so many things that are happening right now and the possibilities are limitless. But I, but I really owe it all to uh, you, Mr. Thomas, leaders like you, what you've been able to accomplish, what you've pioneered. The person that I am today is because of a lot of mentors and you are one of them. There were several people that I listened to in the very beginning of my business. And I, I, I was able to snatch a recording of Mr. Thomas before I knew what he looked like before uh, before I knew him, and it was uh, objections that people have. And he was talking about he was talking about a dog on the porch that was uh, sitting on a nail too lazy to get up. There were, that was one of them. And there are so many of them, and I played those back to back in my car. So before, before I met him, I knew his voice. And then when I saw him, he shared with me the simplicity of having success by uh, following a powerful method of, yep, is exactly right, Natasha, Cecil. Cecil sitting on the porch. Uh, nothing wrong with Cecil. He just like a lot of other people. He's sitting on a nail, he's too lazy to get up. So I'm telling you guys, I know all of these because I listen to him all the time. And um, his method of uh, operation helped me to create a business that was not only successful, it was scalable. And so what I wanna do first is honor you and thank you uh, for doing everything that you've done in the past, in the, in, in, in the present, and what you're gonna do in the future as a, as a testament of what leadership should look like. So thank you, sir, I appreciate you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I am very excited. I'm, I'm so excited about this call because, uh, you know, I had a conversation with uh, Mr. Thomas uh, back back before the third quarter or the fourth quarter started. And I said, all right, I, I just have to ask you a few questions before I uh, turn on production. And um, some of you might say, well, how do you turn on production? And it's just knowing principles. You understand that there are principles to building a business. And a lot of people are building uh, through experimentation. So sometimes they win, sometimes they don't. The problem with experimentation is if you're experimenting and you're new at this and you start winning, you may not know what helped you to win and you may not know what is the reason why you're slowing down. And so it, you want to follow your mentor's leads. The people that have already had success, the people that are getting it done, you want to follow their lead. I found that it's easier to follow someone who's mastered it, learn how they've mastered it, and then get the same result repeatedly. And then you can assess where you can add your own flair. I found that that's, that's, more, that's, that's easier to do than you trying to experiment and then pick apart how it worked. So that's the first thing I recommend. The second thing is enrollment is not what you think it is. I I, I said this before, you're training from the moment you say hello, and that means how you're peaking people. But enrollment is not what you think it is. My, my first mentor in this business, Nakota Bragg, he said this, and, and I wanna, I, I'm going to repeat what he said. He said this in a leadership training. He said, I never met a person that found a one through 10. So if you don't know what that is, because we're in a new era, we used to have these things called pieces of paper where you would print out the presentation on a physical sheet of paper. Do you guys remember? That was like way, way back in the day, right? So everything, <laughs> everything's digital now. So he would say, I never met someone that found a one through 10 presentation piece of paper on the floor, picked it up, started reading it and said, oh my gosh, this is it. 
I need to sign up. Where can I go to sign up? No one's ever done that in the history of ACN. People don't do that. People don't do that. So we can agree that it's not just the information. People aren't enrolling just because of the information. So if you could put in the chat, if you think, so why do you think people enroll? Does anyone have an idea why you think people enroll? Do you think, and, and if you're on my team and, and we've already, don't, don't, don't put it out there just for everyone else that hasn't heard this before. Why do people enroll? Okay, you, you, well, well, they, okay, presentation wise, why do people enroll? Because they could be enrolling because they're getting on because they wanna do business with you, but why is it? Okay, time for change. I hear people say, because they like you, timing, vision, friends. These are all great things. These are all great things. Notice what I didn't see. You guys, look at all of it. Post some more. Don't be afraid. It's not, you're not gonna get it wrong. Uh, post some more, I wanna see. So uh, Ales Jetta in Canada said vision. Okay, I see goals, extra money. I like all of these things. I like it. So you know what I haven't seen? Because it was, you were the best presenter. Oh, you were the best presenter. You were so articulate. <laughs> you you did the presentation perfectly you know why i'm laughing is because these are all the reasons in our head why we won't present isn't that interesting so the reasons why we won't present we're like well we don't want to present because we're not perfect new here here's what i need to tell you guys no one's perfect nothing is perfect matter of fact Beauty is imperfection. So why are you trying to be perfect? If you're trying to be perfect, you're ruining the presentation. If it sounds too good, people get nervous. So, so if all that's, all that's true, all the reasons why you tell yourself you're not presenting, none of those reasons on the flip side are the reasons why people are joining. So if none of the reasons that are stopping you would actually negatively impact the presentation, the first thing I need you to say, need you to do is stop doing that. You need to start presenting. You need to, anybody can present. And what is the point of a presentation? The actual information is just to get someone clarity on what it is that we're doing. It's to get someone clarity on what it is that we're doing. We go through some slides. We go to, so, so when I start presenting, the first thing I say is, uh, I, when we start off, obviously we do testimonials and I'm gonna get into that because that's, that's what's gonna increase your enrollment. But when we start out pres presenting, I say, I wanna welcome all of you. Uh, here's what we're gonna do. So if you're taking notes, you want them to know what to expect. So when I'm presenting, I say, listen, we're gonna show you a two minute video. It's fast. So here's what that means, ladies and gentlemen. If you look away for 30 seconds, you missed a lot of it. So do me a favor, just for two minutes. Don't look at your phone, don't get distracted, just focus on the video. After the video, I'm gonna come up and recap the video. Well, why do I recap? Because even though I told everyone to pay attention, when the video comes on, most people do whatever people do which is not listening to me. So they could not pay attention to the video, right? So I come back up, I recap the video, and then after, and then I tell them, after I recap the video, I'm gonna get into the details of the presentation. I'm gonna get into the details of the presentation. At the end of our conversation, you will have enough information to make a decision on whether you wanna partner with us in business or save money as a customer. I'm giving them the expectation. I'm letting them know, I'm letting them know at the, at the end, they are going to have enough information. So when we get to the end of the presentation, I'm going to reiterate that. Why am I saying this? because I'm letting them know that this is all the information that they need to make a decision. The 
purpose of a presentation is to get a decision. Are you guys getting this? So now they know what to ex expect because I laid out what they should expect. All right, so once we laid out what they expect, we go right through that. And at the end of the presentation, I say, this is what I say every single time. Marie's on here. She'll tell you, she could probably, uh, she could probably say it verbatim every single time. All right. I'm pretty much done. So the, the presentation is pretty much done. 99% of the people at this point have enough information to determine which category they fit in. Let me show you those categories. And you guys have seen it, category one, I'm ready to get started, category two, I'm interested, but I have some questions. Category three, I would love to support, become a customer, save some money on my bill. Notice it isn't, do you wanna do it? Because even if I wanted to do it, here's how I'm built. I don't know about you guys, but most people are like this. How many of you have been in the market to get a car before? Any of you get in the market, like you have the money, you're good. You're in the market to get a car, purchase a car. And you know you're in the market to get a car. And you go to the dealership. And then you get angry because the dealership guy is trying to sell you a car. How many of you got angry in the process? Like, how dare you try to sell me what I'm in the market for? How dare you? So it's not just me. People do weird stuff like that. We get defensive because it's our money and we feel like this guy's trying to get my money. Well, didn't you go to the dealership to get a car? So why are you upset? It's just the way we're built. So you can't argue human nature. So at the end, if you said, ask me, uh, so um, do you wanna do it, yes or no? I'm gonna say probably no. Why? Just to give me some space because most people, their comfort zone isn't making decisions. I hope you catch this. Most people's comfort zones are not making decisions. People would rather stay in their comfort zone, which is doing nothing, even if the doing the something betters their life. So if you know that about human beings, ask the right questions. So you can say, what did you like most about what you saw? Well, I like residual income. So did I. And then you guys know from before, when I talked about closing, I say, what is the one thing holding you back from getting started today? I didn't say what's, and hear me, hear me carefully, because a lot of times people will take that and then they, when they go and say it, it sounds like, what's holding you back from getting started today? That isn't what I said. I was specific. I said, what is the what? The one thing. What is the one thing holding you back from getting started today? And here's what you'll get. You'll get the one thing, or sometimes you'll say, the person will just say nothing. Why is that important? Because they're committed to that. They made that decision themselves. So if a person says, there's nothing holding me back, and they say that out loud, that's a confirmation. If nothing's holding you back, the only logical step is to what? Get started. So people get started. So what am I really doing? I'm helping people through a decision process because most people cannot make decisions. So I'm helping them through a decision process. Now, here's something that a monkey wrench to throw in there. All right, you guys ready for this? Most people don't make decisions on logic. Most people make decisions on feelings. Now, here's why that's so important to understand, especially if you're an urchin. If you don't know what that is, you can look up the, the four personality, uh, the first four personalities, shark, well, dolphin, urchin. You can look those up. But if you're an urchin, you wanna do it based on logic. But you're not just presenting to everyone that's like you. Most people, 
base their decisions on feelings. So if you're trying to enroll people on the logic, it just makes sense. It just makes sense. Look at the numbers. The, the numbers make sense. Look, 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 look. It doesn't matter how many times you try to appeal to them logically if they make their decisions based on feelings. You guys catching this? I don't understand why people wouldn't join. It makes sense. Why wouldn't you want to save money? Well, you're talking logic. They're feeling. Okay. All right. So, so, so here, here's, here's what I need you to understand. As I bring up these slides, I want you to understand something. People don't enroll because of the presentation. They don't enroll because of your magical speaker. You might love Al Thomas's presentation. You might love Jocelyn Driscoll's presentation. You might love Patrick Mazur's presentation. That's not why they're enrolling. They don't know those guys. In fact, a lot of people have resentment towards those guys. Why? Because they're at the top. And so most people are jealous. Like, yeah, of course he's good. He's at the top. That's how weirdos think because people are weird, right? That's not why he's at the top. He's at the top because he started at the bottom just like everyone else. But from the outside looking in, people have excuses. And so it's easier to blame the guy at the top. So what is it that enrolls people? Well, people need to answer three questions, okay? So if you're taking notes of this, you can screenshot this if you want. They need to answer these three questions. The first question is, does it work? Does it work? Okay, man, I need to see if it works. And so how do you express how do, you, how do you express that it works in a presentation if you only have slides? You're gonna need something. So just, just put that aside. You need something that's like the X factor that's going to help you to enroll and it's not the presentation. Is it simple? Is it simple, right? Well, the presentation can show you that it's simple, but logically it shows you that it's simple. So it's not going to increase your enrollment, but it's going to be an aid. All right. So they need to know, is it simple? And the third one is, can I do it? Is it simple? The first one, does it work? Second one, is it simple? Third one is, can I do it? And if you can get a yes to all three of those, you have someone that's ready to enroll, okay? Well, now you know what we're looking to do. So how do you get a yes to all three of those? Well, first, we show them that we support them. We have, at the end of our presentation, we talk about our seven-day game plan and how in our team, from the month of October to today, every person that has enrolled over 90% of those people that have enrolled have received the fast start bonus. I need you to hear that. So that means over 90% of them have reached executive team leader and hit the fast start bonus. So they did it in less than 30 days. Now, why am I sharing this? Because they need to understand that if everyone's doing it, that usually means that I can do it too. Are you guys getting that? And then, so I'm saying that, I say we have a game plan that works if you're busy or if you're not. And then we get into, and Jen, you were right, testimonials. So we get into recognition and testimonials. And this is what, this is the X factor. I've seen some presentations, they don't even have any testimonials. I'm like, what are you guys doing? Yeah, it was 10 minutes, but it was a 10 minute info session. You should have just shot them a video if that was the case. R testimonials are everything, but I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say another thing. This is really important though. And, and, and Mrs. Jocelyn Driscoll, you know this part. And you used to come down to San Diego often. You know how we get down uh, as far as testimonials. Guys, prepped, prepped. I'm gonna say it again prepped 
testimonials. You know what I never do? I never do a testimonial that's not prepped. You know why? Does anyone know why? Because I'm a businessman. Why would I get, give a brand new person free range to completely annihilate my entire business by just saying, hey, randomly, let me hear what you think. That's crazy. That's crazy. Not only do I kill my business, I kill my team's business. Why? Because I'm not a professional. If I'm a professional, I prep my testimonials. The reason why the co-founders had us get on stage at the International and do a training on testimonials is because our testimonials were enrolling people. It's not the presentation, it's the people. And so the reason I'm saying that is because your testimonials are everything. There, our testimonials, we talk about the seven day, the, the game plan, the ETL, we talk about the bonus, and then we, then we introduce people that are gonna give their testimonial about their first 30 days. Now, why are we talking about their first 30 days? This is important, guys. So if let's say you're an ETL, you've been in the business for a year. What did you do in your first 30 days? So what I do is we've gotten testimonials from every single person. It doesn't matter if they've been in a year, two years. It doesn't matter six months. I ask them, what was your first 30 days like? Why am I asking that? So every new guest can see all these great people being new. Why do I do that? So that they can see them. those people are just like who? Just like them. You guys getting this? So they talk about the first 30 days, how they received the bonus. I have, we have, um, so I have a few up here. We have Melanie, uh, you see Melanie in her first 30 days. Uh, and the reason, and I'm, I'm gonna give you their testimonials. The only reason I know them is because we, we go through them so many times. So Melanie outside of ACN, when she first saw the business, she was extremely busy. She was working 50 to 60 hours a week at a, as an IT professional in Northern California. And she was moving her, her family from an apartment into a home. We all know how crazy moving time can be. It always get, goes way longer than we anticipate, right? And so she was, she was working and moving and she saw the business. But listen, because she followed the system, the blueprint that we have laid out, in less than seven days, she was able to reach this bonus of $700. And on top of that, she enrolled her, her father, who also hit the bonus of $700 in less than 30 days. Melanie, do you mind sharing a little bit about your background, why you got involved and where you see yourself going? We'll talk about this in a second, but you guys are hearing this. So um, Ar Aracelli, that's Apple. So Apple, she got involved in the business. She's a physical therapist out of Florida. She works, she works uh, a lot of hours at her job. But on top of that, she works overtime hours because as a physical therapist in home health, when she gets home, she has a Dr. Seuss-like pile of paperwork. And so she's extremely busy. She never saw herself as a business person. She never thought she would be in business, but by following the system as busy as she was, she was able to hit the bonus of $700 in less than 30 days. Apple, do you mind sharing your background, why you got involved and where you see yourself going? So what do I do? When people are new, I, as a leader, and this is for all the leaders on the call, when people are new, you help them with their testimonial. So their testimonial speaks to the people. So what am I doing? I'm like training wheels. I'm guiding them to the type of conversation they need to have. The same thing with, with Jekyll. Jekyll got started in the business. He works full-time in his job, part-time in retail. So he was already busy, but when he saw the business through Melanie, he got excited about the opportunity of having time freedom. He got involved with the company and in a short period of time, less than 30 days, he was able to reach the bonus of $700. Jekyll, do you mind sharing a little bit about your background, why you got involved and where you see yourself going? It's testimonials, guys. And listen to this, testimonials, will increase your enrollments, period. 
if more people were focused on testimonials and realize that anyone can present the business, you, you, it doesn't matter who presents the business, as long as you have powerful testimonials, it's game over. It's a wrap in your business. So here are the things that I have every testimonial say. The, there are three things that they have to talk about. Number one, what do you do outside of ACN? If you don't wanna take notes, screenshot, it's quicker. Number one, what do you do outside of ACN? Number two, why did you get involved? Also known as your reason why. Why did you get involved? And number three, where do you see yourself going? Those are the three questions. Okay, what do you do outside of ACN? Why did you get involved? Where do you see yourself going? All right. Now, now here's, here's, here's a little uh, a tip. Here's a tip. The fear of loss is greater than the desire of gain. Zig Ziglar. People will do more for what they stand to lose than what they stand to gain. Tony Robbins. People don't have the money to pay for their for their um, the lease on their car or their car payment until the repo man is outside. Fear of loss. People will do more when they stand to lose than when they stand to gain. So if that's the case, what do they stand to lose if they don't join today? That's what we need to talk about. But just really quickly, uh, when it comes to your, your testimonials, write this all over your page, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Your testimonial, what do you do outside? Why did you get involved? Where do you see yourself going? That conversation should only be 30 seconds. Even my testimonial, it's, it's canned. Guys, um, my name is Julian Lewis. Prior to getting involved with ACN, I was a senior systems engineer, what I did before because I'm full-time. So outside of prior to getting involved with ACN, I was a senior systems engineer. I was working 80 to 90 hours a week at my job. I was averaging 50 to 60 flights a year, which put me in a situation where I really didn't have a lot of time for my family. So why did I get involved? Time with my family. You guys see that? Where it's going? I was able in six months to replace my income, come home to my family, become the type of father that I felt my daughter deserved. Guys, 30 seconds. You got to do, here's why. Because if each one is 30 seconds, then we can do several. If one random, um, one random testimonial that as a leader, you were lazy and you didn't decide to prep starts doing a, a SVP a testimonial of five minutes. And that's all they gave to SVPs at the international when you get promoted. Is this true, Mr. Thomas? So SVPs only get five minutes. Why are you giving a new person five minutes? New person gets 30 seconds. We need more testimonials, which means they all need to be 30 seconds. If that's the case, we can do five testimonials and still be done with the presentation, enrollments, and everything in 30 minutes. So that's important to understand. So you want to get in the mirror, do your testimonial so you can see if you do any weird twitches or anything like that. Make sure you're smiling, all that. Get in the, really take this business seriously, okay? But here's the fear of loss. And this is something that we, we did a long time ago on a piece of paper, but we, we, um, we do this big time now. And so here it is, IBO positioning. All right, and we talk about as an IBO, you get started, this is your friend. So let's just say this is Willie Cribb. Willie Cribb got started in the business. We're excited for him, woohoo, Willie. Willie's fired up. So this is what we call a soft launch. We're only gonna be enrolling three people underneath Willie, all right? And here's what that means. There's a lot of people here, but those of you that are sharp, we'll get a top spot. And the reason why is because we're gonna do a, a huge grand opening for Willie here in a couple of days. And once we have those top spots filled, everyone who joins at Willie's grand opening is gonna go underneath those top 
spots. Now, we don't know who they are going to be, but we know Willie knows people all around the world, and this is a global business. So those that are on the top spots have the opportunity, get this, to already be pre-positioned to earn the $700 bonus because they already have a team started. All right? So you want to get the top spot, secure top spot today. All right, so that's the fear of loss. So now you have, does it work? Is it simple? Can I do it? And I need to get started today. All right, and, and in the testimonials, the testimonials show that those things, is it simple? Wow, all these people. And so when all the testimonials speak, at the end, here's what I say to the guests, all the guests, pretend you guys are guests. You know, I say, do me a huge favor. Uh, let me know what you guys notice that they all have in common. What do they all have in common? And people are confused. Like, what do they all have in common? And then I lean in and I say, nothing. They have nothing in common. They came from different walks of life, different backgrounds, different, different uh, experiences. Some were excited about business, some never did business and never planned on doing business. But what they do have in common with ACN is a system a system that creates results. We lock arms with you as a team and we help you to get this done. And this is, this is the, this, so, so that's the training. Last part, last part. And this is like a bonus. Learn how to edify correctly, okay? Edification will allow you and your mentor to be heard more clearly. The height at which someone respects an individual will also heighten the amount that they listen to, the, the level that they listen. If there's a lot of respect, you'll notice, um, Mr. Thomas, back in the day, uh, Jerry Bala uh, was, didn't speak much uh, when he was mentoring uh, Tim and Danny Beck. He didn't speak much. And they would do an event. And Jerry was very, it was very exclusive if you got to speak to Jerry, right? And because they edified, their edification of Jerry was so, so huge. When Jerry came on stage once, people gasped. And you could hear a pin drop in the, in, in the convention and everyone was ready to take notes. Why? It was because of the edification. They were so good at edifying who he was and what he did. And so you want to get great at edifying, edifying, not just the RD, but edify your executive team leaders. Because here's what you need to understand. The new people, they don't know what an ETL is. They don't know what a CQ is. So if someone's a CQ and they're presenting, let's say Bill Bailey's a CQ. And I say, listen, I'm so excited that Mr. Bill Bailey was able to make time for us today. He's extremely busy. He's building this business part-time. He has multiple projects he works on outside of building this business. And in this business, in a short period of time, he was able to become a position called customer qualified, which means he is qualified on how the services work in our company. And he definitely knows how to show people where to get the best value in their services. I couldn't think of anybody better to be able to share this information on ACN than Mr. Bill Bailey. Guys, Everyone's like, hey, did you hear that? He's a CQ. Oh my gosh, what is that? He's customer qualified? He's qualified. That's really awesome. Let me take notes. We get in our heads based on, again, being weird. Well, he's only a CQ. I couldn't have him present. None of the people outside of ACN knows that language. He could be, he could be, uh, he could be, an IBO. Guys, I'm not playing right now. 
So Sam Foster, I want to introduce you to Sam Foster. I'm so excited that Mr. Sam Foster has been is here to be able to share this information with us. Uh, Mr. Sam Foster, he is an independent business owner with the company, which is amazing because outside of the business, he has two degrees. He's been successful in his other careers, and he brings that success over into this business. And I couldn't think of anybody better to be able to share this information with us than independent business owner, Mr. Sam Foster. Guys, he's not even qualified. He's independent business owner. So I'm trying to, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm throwing that out there because guys, we focus way too much on the things that don't matter and not enough time on the things that do. And if you got great at edifying, so, so you got great at edifying and great at doing testimonials, you're gonna be a powerhouse. You add fear or loss in there, insane, forget about it. Your enrollments are gonna go through the roof. And then, and then, as, a, a, as you invite guests on for your speaker, here's what you wanna do. Send to your speaker who these people are. But don't just say, hey, this is Al, he's in real estate. I don't care about that. That's, that's the only thing you send. That, that's not gonna help. Here's what you wanna do. Hey, I'm on, um, this is Al. He works, he works insane hours in real estate. He's a father of a son and a daughter, and he lives in Las Vegas. Okay, now I know. Uh, so, so, and then I take Ken Hayes, Ken and T. Ledoux Hayes. So, T. Ledoux Hayes, look, look at Ken. Ken was, uh, so he's retired. He has, he has two boys. He lives in Oceanside, California. So what am I trying to get at? I need to know their family dynamic, what they do for a living. Those two things, family dynamic means they have kids, they don't have kids, are they single, are they married? And what they do for a living, why? Because when I, give them, when I in, introduce the testimonials as a leader, I'm gonna point out those things about people that are just like them. Because if they can see people that are just like them in the testimonial, they see themselves giving the testimonial in the near future, which means they already see themselves enrolled. Okay? I gave you guys a lot. I know that was a lot, but I hope it helps. And if it was too much, it's all good. You have a recording, you can chop it up. So um, with that, Mr. Thomas, I will turn the call over to you, sir.